All right, gobbled up another 5K, just got done. This is day four of week five in the gym. And uh, should be told, I, I didn't feel like doing it. And uh, you know, I could have used anything and manipulated it into being an excuse to not go. Uh, you know, like I went out to help my mom or something. And of course I want to help my mom, so I could have used that as an excuse to um, I could have used that as an excuse to, uh, to not work out. <clears throat> and, uh, but I didn't. And then on top of that today, you know, uh, today was just one of those work days where things were just kind of stupid because you got, uh, you know, a senior person, uh, in the department that you're in and they want to single you out and start critiquing about you and your cell phone use and how fast you're working and doing things and saying you need to take more initiative and I'm like and I defended myself I'm like well shit what do you call this that I've been doing what do you think I call that I've been doing going over the school district doing stuff what do you what do you call that you know everybody's on their phone at work there's not one person that's not on their phone at work and um you know, and I, I was like, look, if, if there was a, if I was as bad as you're describing me, if I'm as bad as you're describing me, then surely someone over this whole district over the almost two years now would have had something to say about me. You know, but hey, I'm just going to be like this coach, say whatever you want. I'm just going to say, all right, I'm not even going to defend myself anymore. And uh, you know, I made some calls to see what, where can I grow and where I can advance because, I mean, I guess I see where the end is on here and, and uh, you know what the interesting thing is that some jobs will have you working out here in these dangerous like they just have you out here working don't do no hazard pay no uh no really extra compensation for being out here during the whole pandemic and i was out on the field the whole pandemic and truth be told you know i, I felt like i was supposed to it like the end of 2019 to be honest with you so i say that to say look like I don't know, you know, and, and so you, I guess what that boils down to is that you just, and then I'm like, how you going to call me out about look, taking initiative? Look at yourself. You don't look like you're really taking initiative for your health. How about that? But I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, that tries to be judgmental about other people's health. But it's just like, wow, are you just going to come to me like that today? It's just today's the day that you, you come for me. For what? And I've been nothing but polite and courteous and, you know, I haven't been rude or anything like that. Um... You know, I let you change your mind on things, and then this is this is how I'm repaid. Well, you know, I don't really have a high expectation in the workplace for. Well, it's not my workplace. I don't own it. I don't run it. And unfortunately, for some reason, I'm taking the brunt of it right now, and uh, it makes it hard. And then you know, and just the news about the MRI and the the bulging discs uh, make it hard for me. And, you know, I'm sad. I don't want to hear nothing wrong with my body. And then, all right, yeah, we got this issue. And so now there's even more pressure to lose this weight because you don't want your back to be out of whack. You know, I still want to travel. I still want things, you know, things to do and go live and something. Try to figure out how to live. I wish I had more money so I could just go. But, you know, I wish I had that, that those resources like that, you know. And, and what I... And then I think about, well, if I was a successful music producer, then I wouldn't even be in a situation in the first place. I'd be in some house somewhere, uh, probably with a wife and two kids by now or something, or, or I probably would have not even be here. I'd probably be in Florida or Miami or something, selling music courses or something, you know, and, and but it's not the case, you know, and I get, frust I get really frustrated when, you know, crap comes in from the workplace. And it's not every day, but when crap comes in the workplace and people come for you, because I guess you're the person that's up for coming for. Uh, I guess because you're such a nice guy in the workplace. And it just reminds you, it just it's like a bad reminder, like, yo, you didn't make it. Yo, you didn't you didn't make it in the things you wanted to. Your dreams didn't come through. Because if your dreams came true, then you wouldn't be even dealing with that nigga in the workplace in the first place. You know, and, and you deal with those thoughts. But I still went to the gym. I still ate up my 5K. I think I knocked it down to 36 minutes a second. I went late, later than I normally do, but thankfully I had a gym because if I was still running outside, um, it would have been two things, too wet and 
getting too late because I would need a daylight and it's 43 degrees so we're on that temperature dress hole so this is more of a warmer 43 degrees so I put out and honestly from my experience these workouts are the ones that work the ones where you know you really don't feel like going in uh, your vibe ain't 100 percent even my run stride like I wasn't even I mean I ran faster though don't get me wrong I ran a little faster like I pushed it above five miles per hour but uh, I wasn't even really feeling it um, I had my music and but you know I think some tools that helped me was the uh, uh, the situation where I was watching this movie uh, and shout out to listen to reason who recommended this movie to me because it provided some inspiration towards the actually the beginning of my run it was called Brittany runs a marathon and I was just watching that and I could relate to some of the things she was feeling um, some of the anxieties you feel as an overweight person and you know when you go down and wait and just those anxieties that you feel as a person and then you know so I know I know what that looks like I know what that feels like uh, I know what it sounds like and so uh, but then you know watching her do that run and, and that experience uh, you know I felt like I was running with it because I was on that treadmill uh, finishing up that movie I was looking I was trying to keep my head up and look down at the screen so I could see it so it was a really good movie uh, so I enjoyed that and uh, but you know another thing is on my heart and my mind one of my friends is uh, she is uh, she went on to go surgery today and uh, you wish uh, and I wish that I could just just be there you know and, and uh, fix fix it you know and, and snap my fingers and let the recovery be a, a, a you know a thing but I don't know what's going on last you know heard that the surgery begun that's it so now I'm left you know wondering what's going on did everything go all right you know which I that's the only thought that I have in my mind that everything went good that's the only thought I have but I guess to hear it from that person uh, would make me feel better but I also and you know in that same sentence because I don't want to be like well no in that same sentence you know I understand that there's a process going on there are things going on that I don't know about and so I'll exercise a little bit of wisdom there and not really try to jump to any conclusion but to uh, you know be patient I choose patience at that moment so I'm going to choose some patience and I'm going to um, wait uh, for that person to let me know that everything's good and we'll exercise patience and I'm going to exercise hope and I'm going to exercise some faith and that's it so alright I know it's dark all you can hear is audio I'm going to get off here that's my workout for today these are the ones that count the ones where you don't feel like where the day was a drag but you still went to the gym these are the workouts that count because they add up in the end I know that for a fact alright